Hey guys, I'm Misty, and welcome to the Bedrock Manhunt Function Pack Guide. In this video, I will be going through everything you will need to know about downloading, installing, and using the pack so that you can play with your friends. Okay, let's start with the download. First, what you want to do is go to the link in the description where it will bring you to our Manhunt add-on page. Then, scroll down till you see the download link here, click it, and it should redirect you to a link of a ties website. To gain access to the download page, all you have to do is click on this and it will show you a bunch of articles. Then you have to wait five seconds and then you can close this and then you should be able to access the Mediafire page. Okay, so once you're on the Mediafire page, just click download, close this pop-up and there we go. It should just download the pack. So once you've downloaded the file, just go to where you downloaded it and just double click it to install it in Minecraft. It should just open Minecraft and download it automatically. So if you downloaded it correctly, it should say successfully imported the Manhunt pack. If it says unable to download pack, duplicate pack detected, then just go to your settings, storage, behavior packs, and delete the pack that you already have here. If you have any other problems installing, just go to our Discord in the description below and ask us there. To use our pack, what you want to do is create a new world. So once you're here, Go to the behavior packs tab, click available, click activate on the manhunt pack and it should be activated. Then go to experiments, make sure spectator mode is turned on. Then go to cheats, turn cheats on. This is important because you can't start the actual command without typing slash function start. Then go to multiplayer and make sure default player permissions is turned to operator. This is important because a number of commands use operator mode in order for things to work. <laughs> now click on create new world. So once you're in the world, what you want to do is do slash function start in the chat, click enter. And it should say this in the chat. If you don't want to watch the rest of the video and you just want to play with your friends now, you can just look in this book and it'll give you all the details. Okay, once you're in the lobby, go to settings by clicking this button. Once you're in this room, first what you want to do is click these buttons to set the tags. Keep in mind that anyone that you want to play Manhunt with has to be in the world as you click those buttons, otherwise it won't work. Make sure you read the signs as well, they're quite important. For example, this one, if you click spectator mode while you're in this lobby, you'll just be set to spectator mode permanently and you cannot turn back once you've clicked that. Over here, you can see this diamond block, which says custom world spawn on the sign. When you click on it, it will teleport you to 00, zero which is where the default world spawn is. It will also give you a diamond block and you can use this to set your own custom world spawn. Once you found your preferred area, just place the diamond block down and stand on it. Make sure you do not move during this process. Once it's done, it should teleport you back to lobby. Over on this wall, the giant ghast face, you can press up or down to turn respawn mode on or off. Re respawn mode only works when there are two runners. If it's on, while there's only one runner present, it will turn it off during the game. When respawn mode is toggled, a runner who dies will respawn in 5 minutes and will teleport to their teammate when they respawn. If both runners are dead, then that means the hunters win. If respawn mode is off and a player dies, they will be dead permanently and sent to spectator mode. Over here we have game rules. The only game rules we have here are weather cycle and do insomnia. Do Insomnia toggles phantoms and we turn that off on default because who likes phantoms, let's be honest. And weather cycle is turned on by default. On this wall, we have buffs. If you ever decide that you want to add buffs to your team, you can always just turn these on. Make sure when you turn on a buff, you also turn on the team you want the buff applied to, otherwise it will not work. Let me add run attack to myself and give one to Sam. So for example, I want strength and I turn the runner toggle on, it will only give it to the runner team. So there we go, it says it there, strength one. If you want to start the game, just press this button here where it says start. Keep in mind that this button will not appear if any players do not have a tag. It should teleport you to world spawn and give the hunters a compass. So about the compass, 
When there are two runners, it will switch between who it's tracking every 10 seconds. So right now it's tracking Sam. And after 10 seconds, it should track Alex. There we go. If there's one runner, obviously it will only track that one runner and it won't switch. So as a hunter, you can set your spawn with beds. Make sure you stand on it for at least one second and it should say you made the advancement sweet dreams when you first do it. Keep in mind when you break the bed, it will delete your spawn and set you back to world spawn. Also, when you've already set a spawn point, you can just set a new spawn point by standing on another bed. So now I'll showcase the nether tracker. When both a hunter and a runner are in the nether, it will display the coordinates of all runners in the chat. If there are no hunters in the nether, then this won't happen. If you want to respawn as a runner and respawn mode is off, just type slash tag at s add respawn if you're a runner and respawn 1 if you're runner 1. Keep in mind when you press enter it won't teleport you to your teammate so make sure you are teleported on your teammate when you respawn. Anyways that's about all I'm going to show here guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any more questions just go to our discord and ask us there and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. See you in the next video.